please remember, and I beseech you again and again, please remember, worldwide ISKCON grassroots Nam Sankirtan revolution. <laughs> Revolution means revolution. It means we have to shed pounds and gallons and gallons of blood to get the job done. We have to turn this movement inside out, upside down, whatever we have to do, but we have to put Nam Sankirtan back into its rightful place of dignity in the forefront of our movement is absolutely essential for the proper growth of our movement. Those who have understood this are awake to the need of the hour, and those who have not understood it are still sleeping. It's time to wake up and understand what is the responsibility of every man, woman, and child in this movement. To take seriously that dharma which Lord Chaitanya himself inaugurated for the deliverance of all the fallen, fallen conditioned souls. For the rest of this Kali Yuga, there's another 427,000 years left to Kali Yuga. The Yuga Dharma doesn't change. The next Yuga is Satya Yuga. And for them, contemplative peaceful meditation is where it's at. But in Kali Yuga, you got to get fired up. <laughs> Every one of you, fired up, chanting, dancing from the heart, like you really mean it, like you really want Lord Chaitanya's mercy, so that you can even think, you can even hope, to go back home, back to Godhead in this one lifetime. It's not a joke. It's the real thing. So stand up and do what's right. Do the real thing. Perform Nam Sankirtan daily, every day, for as many hours as possible. And you'll get there. I guarantee it. Not that I guarantee it. Lord Chaitanya has guaranteed it. It's the right thing to do. Perform Nam Sankirtan wherever you go in this world and help others to understand the need to augment the performance of Nam Sankirtan, to increase the performance of Nam Sankirtan on a regular daily basis in every major city all over the world. That's what has to happen to make this ISKCON movement grow properly. Otherwise, what happens is you get a deformed child due to undernourishment. You understand this? Can you understand it? You don't want to undernourish your child. The way to feed the child in Kali Yuga is just like watering the plant, right? So you have to water the plant. You don't want to underwater the plant. You have to water the creeper of devotion and you have to give the creeper of devotion proper nourishment. And it doesn't just mean a few schnick schnick ram rams as a token gesture on the side. That's not going to get you back home, back to Godhead. You may take another 700 lifetimes to get home, back to Godhead that way. It means getting fired up and doing the real thing. The Yuga Dharma, Harinam Sankirtan. There's no other Yuga Dharma for any one of us. And there's no way that you're going to get Krishna Prema in this Kali Yuga if you don't do the Kali Yuga Dharma, Harinam Sankirtan. That's the way to do it. Maybe someone will slip in the back door somehow or other. But don't count on that. Do the process, adhere to the process that Lord Chaitanya has ordained for the fallen conditioned souls. Trinadapi Sunechena. What does Trinadapi Sunechena mean? It mean? What does it mean to be humble? 
It simply means this, try to understand it. It's a very simple, for the simple, but sanguine point. What does it mean to be humble? It means to have the Sumedha Saha, enough Sumedha Saha to recognize that you, you are a fallen Kali Yuga, what do you want to call it? Creature. You're a fallen Kali Yuga creature. And because you're a fallen Kali Yuga creature, don't be puffed up and proud to think that you have the qualification for any other program than that program that Lord Chaitanya inaugurated for the deliverance of the fallen Kali Yuga creatures like us. That's what it means to not a Pisunechina. That's what it means to be humble. Humble enough to recognize that you're one of the fallen creatures that has to take advantage of the opportunity to perform Nam Sankirtan while you have the opportunity. Who knows what kind of condition the demons are going to impose on us in some future date. Global tyranny is on its way. Don't think otherwise. You don't know what's going to happen in the future. But right now we can take the opportunity. Right now we have the facility to congregate and dance and chant. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And especially in Vrindavan, where you get a thousand times the benefit of chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. That's the fast track back home, back to Godhead, is to come to Vrindavan and perform the Yuga Dharma. So you get a thousand times the Shakti, a thousand times the benefit, a thousand times the credit in your transcendental bank account to amass the Krita Punya Punja that you need to amass to enter into an eternal relationship with Krishna in Brajadam. So that's what Trinata Peace in Ichina means. It means to be humble enough to admit that you're a fallen conditioned soul, a Kali Yuga reject, that needs to take advantage of the process which has been ordained, foreordained by the Shastras and propagated by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and all of our Acharyas, including Srila Prabhupada, for the deliverance of the fallen conditioned souls. Todor Iva Suhishnana means to stand up and do what's right against all odds. If your temple authorities tell you not to perform the Yuga Dharma, not to perform Sankirtan, then I'm sorry. Sankirtan, then I'm sorry. They are not your authorities. If your guru tells you not to perform Nam Sankirtan, then I'm sorry. He's not your guru because he's not representing Adi Guru, Nityananda, who created the Nam Hatta marketplace of the holy name by loudly propagating Nam Sankirtan. It means he's not representing. Performance of Nam Sankirtan in Kali Yuga is the satisfaction of Sri Guru. And if the Guru is not satisfied by our performance of Nam Sankirtan, then he's not our Guru. Cheta Guru is satisfied. And the proper representative of Cheta Guru will manifest in due course to encourage you to do the right thing against all odds. Torore Iva Suhishnana. Amanena. What does Amanena mean? It simply means not to expect to be regarded, not to expect to be regarded as having the fitness for any other Dharma in this age. Manadena. What does Manadena mean? This is very simple. Simple for the simple. Manadena means to respect 
the actual self-interest of every other living entity in the matter of attaining the fruit of love of Godhead by encouraging them to perform Nam Sankirtan. That is Manadena. To respect their real, the real soul, the real self. Forget all of this psychophysical business. The soul has to go back home, back to Godhead. And the way that's going to happen is if the soul agrees to engage all of his psychophysical energies and his whole heart in the performance of Sneha Samyukta Harinam Sankirtan. Sneha means with affection. Samyukta means complete engagement. Full on. Fired up. And back home, back to Godhead in this one lifetime. Don't let anyone tell you that it can't be done. It can be done by adopting the proper process. And the process which has been ordained by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Lord Nityananda, and all of the Acharyas in the Siplic succession is Hari Nam Sankirtan. And don't let them tell you anything different. Why did Srila Prabhupada stress book distribution? Book distribution is for the purpose of philosophically convincing others to join Lord Chaitanya's Harinam Sankirtan party. If they come and they see that there's no practical demonstration of the life of all transcendental knowledge in the books for them to participate in, be a part of, then no wonder devotees are leaving you know and going hither and thither to look for the higher taste because they're not getting the higher taste they're not getting Harinam Ruchi they're not getting Shudanam Ruchi because they're not doing that activity which actually helps us to get Shudanam Ruchi the most powerful process for getting Shudanam Ruchi is the loud congregational chanting of the holy name much more so than Nam Japa Nam Japa is like taking tablets. And Nam Sankirtan is like an injection when you really need it. Bad, because you're sick. And if you think you're not sick, you're an illusion. So you need to take the medicine. And medicine means proper dosage and proper frequency. Not just a little token lip service. A little make show, you know, to kind of like a, you know, and then anthropolog an anthropologically study about it in the scriptures. That, oh, well, that was back in Lord Chaitanya's time. So anyway, on that note, I humbly request all of you that um, tomorrow you're coming back to Vrindavan, right? So every evening in, in uh, the temple, Krishna Balaram Mandir, from, uh, well, we'll do our normal kirtan. I'll do kirtan. There's 24-hour kirtan going on anyway, so you can participate at, you know, any time. And also the Matajis have a kirtan program in Srila Prabhupada's Samadhi. No, not 24 hours. It's, you know, I think during the day, I'm not sure what's going on there, but during the day. But all of you, are, are welcome to come and participate in the 24-hour kirtan and also uh, I myself I will be there from 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock in the evening and again I'll be back on around 8.30 until 10.30 or 11 o'clock at night so, At least, at least till the end of the so-called end of the festival. For me, the festival never ends. Every day is a festival, especially in Vrindavan. You have to allow every day to be a festival. You know, then your heart's in the right place. That's what Radhe Sham wants for you. Every day a festival. Chanting, dancing, feasting and philosophy 
as I mentioned in Mayapur, chanting, dancing, feasting, and philosophy. The philosophy is to convince us to chant and dance. Feasting is to energize our chanting and dancing. <laughs> chanting and dancing is forgetting a taste for chanting and dancing. Chanting and dancing with a taste for chanting and dancing is to evolve to the platform of Ragmai, chanting and dancing. Ragmai means from the stage of bhava. And chanting and dancing on the stage of bhava, Ragmai Sankirtan, Nam Sankirtan, that is for the purpose of entering into Lord Chaitanya's leelas and chanting and dancing directly with Lord Chaitanya and Lord Dityananda. So it's very important that we understand these philosophies. We have to understand the philosophy. If you're chanting and dancing in Lord Chaitanya's Sankirtan movement, then basically you've understood the philosophy. And if you're not chanting and dancing in Lord Chaitanya's Sankirtan, then it means you simply have not understood the philosophy. Haribo. <laughs>